Hi, I'm Aubrey Adams, and I'm here with a Colorado teen, and she came to see Alex Berenson talk um, about his book, Tell Your Children the Truth About Marijuana, Mental Illness, and Violence. And you have something to say about what you're seeing with your friends and at high schools, right? Or are you in middle school? I'm in high school. You're in high school. So do you think the legalization of marijuana has kept products out of our schools? Definitely not. If anything, it's made it a lot more accessible, especially because there are so many people who have connections, so many people who have dealers, like older cousins or anything, and so it's getting into hands of people who are way too young, I feel, and it really disrupts their education in general and their family and friendships. Yes, and when you got up and spoke at this event, when some people from the marijuana industry said that youth use was actually going down here in Denver, what was your response to that claim? I was a little like baffled. I was confused because it's so obvious to me as a student that not a lot of schools participate in these surveys and since there are surveys people are scared to tell the truth and so they don't they lie which makes the data inaccurate and so i think it's not fair that they're um getting claims off of this inaccurate data when in reality i see the full picture and i see what people are actually doing instead of the lies that they put on the survey yeah and a lot of the kids that are using aren't necessarily in school Right. right. I know like Pueblo, where I'm from, our absentee rate is sky dry. I mean, it's like 27 percent. It's 27 percent of the kids are not in school. So how can they survey those kids? And most likely those are the ones that are using. Now, you said you have experienced and, and seen people using marijuana products in classrooms. Yes, I've seen lots of vaping. And I've seen lots of dealing, like in actions like where to meet, when to meet, um, and how much money and stuff. And it's really scary. That is really scary. And just so we know that we have your mom's permission and your permission to use this video publicly, because you are a minor, so we need to be yeah. careful with that. And we're not going to use your name for your protection, but you are a Colorado teen. Your voice matters. You're on the front lines of this. You're seeing it in the classrooms. So what is your... Um, message to the rest of the states that are trying to legalize marijuana or even the federal government that's pushing marijuana. I just think it's a big mistake because they're not realizing the damage is done because users, there's a whole ripple around them. It's not just the person who's using it. It's also their family and their friends. And so they're damaging relationships. It's their education. They're damaging it all at a way too young age because it's way too accessible now. And their life is being ruined. And we can have them hear a message, but we can't necessarily have them listen. And so by making it more accessible, we're only causing more damage to be done. And as a Colorado teen, have you been pressured to use also? Um, I haven't been directly pressured, mainly because I've made my standards very clear and I don't really surround myself with people who um, are very different than me in that sense of standards. But I, I have been... Um, I have been really pressured not to like snitch or anything. Oh yeah, when you're when you're seeing it in school, mm -hmm. it's very hard to know what to do because of the backlash that might come to you. That yes. can be pretty scary. Yes, and, there's lots of peer pressure when people are talking about it, and then they, um, and then they talk to you and say, "You better not do this. You better not do this." Yeah, that you know that's such a good point, and it's such a good point to make to other teens or other young people that you are who you hang out with. So if you're hanging out with people that are using, the chances of you using go up a lot. So exactly. surround yourself with people that want to protect their brains, um, progress in life, and have bright, healthy, wonderful, fun right. futures. Yes, um, and to set boundaries and to make them clear. That is awesome. That is, that's very insightful for such a young lady. So thank you for sharing that and, and keep on keeping on and we'll get your message out. Thank, thank you. you.